So SketchUp has started. We've got the simple metric template in place, which is what we left here last time. And what we can see here is we can see the green ground, we can see the blue sky, we can see a horizon line, and we can see a person sitting here at the origin of the X, Y, and Z axis. We don't need any of that. So we're going to go and do something simpler. And the place to start is that we need to go to the Windows menu, we need to come here to Preferences, it'll pop up a little window, and it started straight away here on Template. We're going to select a different template. The template that we're going to use, at least to start with, is right down near the bottom, and it's Woodworking Millimeters. So we're going to select that as the template, and nothing happens. And there's a reason for that, and that's because the template only gets applied when a new drawing is started. So we're going to come up here to this button here, it says New, Create a New Model. We're going to click, and suddenly it changes. We have just a plain grey background, we have the origin, we have no horizon, no sky, no anything. We just have a workspace that is going to use measurements in millimetres. That's fine, that's an improvement, but there are a few more things that we're going to be doing beyond that. Uh, we said we're going to work in millimeters, but we're going to go check a few things. So we're going to go to Window Menu again. We're going to go to Model Info. And it started at the bottom in units, which is fine. That's one of the things that we want to do. It needs to say decimal, millimeters, precision. We do not need a 0 0.0 pre um, precision. So we're going to click on that and just go to plain zero. We also do not need to display the units format but we do need to enable length snapping to one millimeter length. All right, so we're going to do that. Then the angle units, we're going to enable angle snapping. 15 degrees is generally fine. Um, precision, again, does not to be 0, 0 0.0. We're going to make that zero. So that's units set. In the model information, there are a few more options here. We're going to come up here to text. Now, the text that is the default is 12 points to Homa. I find that is a little bit small. So we're going to go to click on fonts. We're going to set the size to 14 and we're going to say OK. We're going to do the same on leader text. And we're going to look here at the leader lines. It talks about a closed arrow. We're going to leave that for now. Um, we're going to come here, statistics are not important, rendering, geolocation, file, just to show you, this is some file information, you can put a name and a description, I normally don't worry about it, but you can, dimensions is the next one we want to look at, again, 12 point, we need to change the font to 14. Now, sometimes I change this, closed arrow is a closed solid arrow head, open arrow is just two lines to make an arrow head. Uh, you will sometimes see that I use slash as my dimension um, style and either one of these three is fine. For now I'm going to put it back to closed arrow. Uh, that takes care of my units, it takes care of my dimensions. So that I can come have a look. I've got nothing for credits, components, classification, animations. None of that is anything. So I can close off this menu. The next thing I want to do, and I told you that I would be doing it in the previous video, is I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to the default tray. And it has already, uh, that's components is opened, I don't need that. The one I do need open is styles. So I'm going to set some information on the styles here. Um, I'm going to, first thing, I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to click on this wire box here. This is on the very left hand side. I do want a tick on edges. I do want a tick on profiles. I am going to set this value to 1. Now what edges and profile do are they put these lines around the outside of the shape. So it makes it more clear to see. So we need to do that. I'm then going to come here to this background setting. So it's the center of these bars. I have a background and I'm going to click on it and you can see my colors here are red, green, blue coding, RGB and they're at 218 and that's what gives me this gray background. 
gray is good but it uh, doesn't work so well if you want to print it so it's better to just go straight to 255 255 255 and that will give you a white background it may appear slightly different to you right now on my screen um, if you find that the white is got too much glare then you could set these numbers to 250, 250, 250 it gives you a very pale grey which takes the edge off the glare but it actually doesn't make it look too grey um, it is still visible when you print though so if you're going to be printing out or copying any, uh, producing any images from SketchUp 255, 255 and 255 is most certainly the way to go those are the only changes we need to make so we can close this off we can go back onto our useful tray the catch is that for us to use this again the last step we need to do is we need to go to file and we need to save as template so I'm going to call this one D and T design and technology general uh, I can give a description I can give a file name um, I, it will create that file name for me and importantly I'm going to tick this that says set as default template so every time I open SketchUp, that's what the template that will open up. So click Save, and that is going to work for us. We can now start learning to actually draw.